Hey. Peace, 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 peace. Power. What's up, peeps? Julian Williams here at the Distance. Got a fantasy matchup for you guys. This one's going to be Edwin Valero versus Brandon Rios. This one was requested by JR, 503 JR. Hit me up on Twitter about it on um, like Monday morning. So. Pretty much, um, this is a bit of a hard fight to analyze in a way, just because both of them have, first off, Evan Valero died before he peaked, and Brandon Rios, I don't think, has peaked yet. I think with Brandon Rios, the best is yet to come. If not, the best has already came. But um, Evan, but um, pretty much both of them, either one, neither one of them has had you no know, full entire career. You know, both of them, you know, and so far, Brandon Rio's career defining fight was against Miguel Acosta. And, you know, and but, you know, since then, you know, he's, you know, now um, I believe he's going to fight Yuri Yorkis Gamboa in April, which is, which could be a really good fight, but also, but also it's kind of one of those um, enigmas to where, you know, can Yuri Yorkis Gamboa come up and wait, you know, maintain his speed, maintain his power. And with Evan Valero, Evan Valero started out like at 126 or 130 and, you know, moved up to um, 135. You know, his last victory was over, was against the WBC lightweight champion, um, Antonio DeMarco, um, where he was able to just out-hustle him, beat him to the punch, out, you know, and out-punch um, and out punch him, out-land him. And um, pretty much when I look at things, when I look at this fight, I don't think that... Brandon, Re I think Brandon Rios would probably have trouble with Tony DeMarco early in the fight, just because Tony DeMarco is very slippery and it, and his movement is very calculated. But he's and it, but the thing with um with him is with Tony DeMarco and Brandon Rios and is both of them can be slow starters. Um, Tony DeMarco would probably use his um height and reach to his advantage in the in this fight because Brandon Rios usually just comes and he walks forward and he'll catch a few punches, you know, coming in to try to um land a few shot to land try to get his punches in. While on the other hand you got Edwin Valero who's gonna come out and he's gonna downright attack you and you know march forward and, and, and the thing with Edwin Valero is Edwin Valero would get hit too. But also he'll land the hardest shots. He'll throw you know he'll fire off his combination from the outside. He'll fire off speedy combinations to to where Rios wouldn't be able to see. Rios does well at cutting off the ring, fighting in close quarters and, and finding openings in close quarters. But I don't think that for a 12 round period I don't think he can he can um and the thing and we saw with Valero is, is um especially in, the, in his final fight against Antonio DeMarco is he was able to is he was um able to maintain his speed throughout the fight you know it was you know he was able to you know he was able to kind of I guess you know he was able to um, maintain his energy throughout the fight and just continue his attack I mean Antonio DeMarco is a, is a good boxer and um and remember, two years ago, I predicted Tony DeMarco to actually the win, to win against Valero. But um, I think personally that Brandon Rios would have trouble against that fighter. And I'm using this fighter as an example, because um, I just think that, I just think that you know we saw how Edwin Valero just single-handedly just dominated um, Tony DeMarco, and I don't think that Brandon Rios would be able to dominate Tony DeMarco at all. I think he would have to kind of pick up his pace. Um, in the fight, and being that Valero could start off, you know, started off fast, and Rios didn't start off fast, that would make room for Valero to, to hit, to hit, be able to hit Rios, and Rios has a lot of defensive, defensive liabilities. You know, he has a lot of defensive liabilities, but he's strong, and he can take those punches. But Valero maintains his energy. Valero um, will be able to outland him. He'll be able to beat him to position, and um, and just fire off his combinations. So I would go with Edwin Valero actually knocking out or stopping Brandon Rios on possibly on cuts in um, round 9 or 10, most likely. Somewhere, peeps, got a fancy matchup, hit me up. I'm out of here. The distance. Got me. Peace. I did it for the war on guns. Hey, play with the young weed. Ride. Old schools with grain. Wheels of steel. Lord, DJ, break them off.